I'm here with Billy Kidd, and I have to say before we start, I really love your outfit. <laughs> it's just, it's perfect in this whole Western world vibe here, but it's not just the outfit that we're celebrating today, of course. He is also a gold medalist, he's a world champion, and he was a silver medalist at the Olympics, so I feel pretty excited to get to stand next to you at this moment. But well, Thank you. It was just a few short decades ago. <laughs> Five. It just feels Five. like yesterday, though, right? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but can you talk a little bit about how Dr. Stedman helped you along that journey in becoming such a champion at your sport? Well, I'm an old downhill racer, mm -hmm. and any ski racer wants to know Dr. Stedman because he <laughs> made us all go faster. I first met him out at Lake Tahoe uh, in the late 70s, and then he came to Colorado, and I lived just up the road in Steamboat. Oh, wow. And so I would... Uh, come down to get checked by him every year and he said no it sounds like a little gravel is in your knee but uh, we don't need to open it up yet and so we kept going like that for years and years and then finally uh, five or six years ago he, he said all right we got to do a little clean out mm -hmm. he did and I am skiing much better at least I think so and so does my mom <laughs> And it's all about what mom really thinks, yeah. you know? <laughs> but speaking of which, what are some thoughts that you have about Stedman's legacy, not just for you, but for all of the people that he worked on, both the Weekend Warrior and the Olympic medalist? Well, I think when I first met him, he was on his way to uh, a really healthy legacy. Mm -hmm. But it was only among a few skiers in America and mainly in the West. But then he started getting well known for treating any skier mm -hmm. and especially the best skiers and then it went beyond that to athletes from so many different sports and now he's a legend around the world and literally has changed medical treatment for athletes that have gotten banged up a little bit like a lot of us skiers. Yeah, it sounds like an exciting sport but a dangerous one as well. Would you agree with that? No, it's not dangerous. Okay. It's just um, it's just dangerous if you hit fences and trees, but if you go around the trees, <laughs> avoid the fences, you're all right. I will take that down as some notes for later for myself. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully you'll use that in the Olympics. That sounds like okay. a plan. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs>